Okay, so in this example, we're going to turn this frequency table into a less than and greater than cumulative frequency table. So let's start with our less than. For x values for our less than table, we just look at the x values of our frequency table. We start with the lowest number, so 1 in this case. Then we're going to go 3, 5, 7, 9. We're going to end at our highest number, which is 11. So you have one extra row in your cumulative frequency tables if you compare them to your frequency tables. The less than cumulative frequency table always starts at 0. And then you're adding values from your frequency table. So 0 plus 7, 7, 7 plus 6. 13, 13 plus 5, 18, 18 plus 4, 22, 22 plus 2, 24. Your total of your frequency table will always equal to the last value in your less than cumulative frequency table. Similarly, if we work on a greater than cumulative frequency table, Our x values are going to be exactly the same as the less than table. Our y values always start at our total or maximum, so 24. And we're subtracting each value from our frequency table. So 24 minus 7, 17, 17 minus 6, 11, 11 minus 5, 6, 6 minus 4, 2 and 2 minus 2 is 0. The greater than table should always end at 0. Once you have these two tables here, you can draw your graph from these two tables. Remember both lines will go on the same graph. Our y values have to go up to 24. Probably gonna make them at fives. Okay, once we have this here, I'm just labeling points. So my first point, my x value is one, my y value is zero. So one zero is down here. Second point is 3 and 7. Third point is 5 and 13. 7 and 18. 9 and 22. And 11 and 24. And then you just connect them, drawing individual lines. That's your less than. Now we're going to do the greater than. So our first point is 124, 317, 511, 7, 6, 9, 2. 11, 0, and then I'm going to connect them with lines again. That is how you draw your less than and greater than cumulative frequency graphs.